And now we're pleased to bring you our feature presentation. years ago, there lived a man named Abraham. This man was chosen by God to found a new nation on the earth, a nation which God would take for his own to reveal his character and his glory to the whole world. And God promised Abraham that through his descendant, all the earth would be blessed. This descendant would be the Messiah himself. The Lord also promised Abraham that his offspring would be as the stars of the heavens and the sand of the seashore. However, Abraham and his wife Sarah were both advanced in years and barren. They had no children. One day, while Abraham and Sarah were by their tent by the great oaks of the region called Mamre, three visitors suddenly appeared. We invite you to use your imaginations along with us, and through the use of a special time machine, Travel back with us four millennia to the Middle East, where we find Abraham and Sarah beginning their day. Watch over the flocks. We've had Acadian bandits robbing the herds. And two of our herdsmen are ill. So we've lost, I would say, two dozen sheep. 
perhaps a dozen camels. So I felt I needed to keep watch myself, so I've been up all night. I have not. I have not. Thank you so much. I, I'm afraid that Ishmael and Ishak are both ill seriously. It may be, could be months, Sarah, before they're back. Mmm. This is good. My throat is fucked. But it's good to be home. I can't stay long. Mm. There's not a woman in all of Israel that makes bread like you. From the grapes, straight from the promised land. Is there any chance you've seen Shechem? I haven't seen him since yesterday. I have not. Hmm. I'll make a report on my next watch. There's also a couple other fields I want to check. Mm. This is excellent. I'm Thank so you. Now you come. I want to put you in this tent. The animal hides are thicker to protect you from the heat of the noonday sun. So <coughs> now it's out in the fields. The night was filled with his voice. My lords, I pray, pass not thy servant by. But let yourselves be refreshed, and I will fix you something from the tent. Do as you say. Behold, the sun is high, the heat is great. Perhaps you can stay under the great oaks of Mamre under the shade. Be refreshed. After we feed you, and you can be on your way. We go toward the city, toward Sodom. Where Lot, thy brother's son, sits in the gate of the city. My nephew has been there in Sodom many years. Where is Sarah, thy wife? Behold, in the tent. At about this time next year, I shall return to you. And Sarah, thy wife, shall have a son. <laughs> a son? After I'm worn out and my husband is old? Shall I now have this pleasure? Why did Sarah laugh and say, shall I now have this pleasure now that I am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? Next year I shall return. Sarah shall have a start. Shall I hide from Abraham what I am about to do? Abraham will surely become a great and a powerful nation. And all nations in the earth will be blessed. The outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah has become so great, and its sin is so grievous, that I shall go down and see if what they have done is as bad as the outcry that has been. If not, I shall know. We go toward the cities of the plain. You know what I'll see you on your way?
My lord, I may but speak with you. Wilt thou destroy the righteous with the wicked? Far be it from thee to treat the righteous the same way that you do the wicked. Peradventure there be fifty righteous in the city. Will you destroy the whole city for the sake of fifty? Surely. Will not the judge of all the earth do right? If there are fifty righteous people found in Sodom, I shall spare the city for their sake. Peradventure, my lord, that there are five less than fifty. Perchance there are only forty-five. Will you not spare the city for five, say? For the sake of forty-five, I shall spare the city. Peradventure, there be forty. I will not do it if there are forty righteous people found. My lord, I am aware that I am but dust and ashes, but for adventure I should ask that what if there be only thirty righteous in the city? Surely you will spare the whole city for the sake of thirty. If there are thirty righteous found, I will not do it. What if there be only 20? I will not do it if there are 20 righteous now. My Lord, I pray that thee would not become angry with me, but I will ask just this once more. What if there be only 10 righteous in the city? Will you spare the city for the sake of the 10? Go to the other tent. I shall follow you. 